Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to show you a few solutions on how to store and organize your mini ink pads. I have these three different kinds and they are small. This one is a little bit uh, higher, as you can see right here. See, and this one too is higher than this one. And I have a lot of them. So I was thinking on how to organize them and how to store them. I don't like to mix them much together in one place. And I had it in a drawer and all of them were like mixed. And now I'm going to show you a few containers that you can use from Dollar Tree. And the first solution is buying these acrylic containers. It has a drawer and it's acrylic. It's beautiful see and you can make a tower you can put like you can put two and then build your tower or you can make a tower of one depends of the space that you have and i'm going to show you how many you can fit in here for example this one that is the bigger one um you can put just six in there see and if you want to save some sponges, you can save them at the bottom, see? And because you can just keep six, you can organize by brand or maybe by color. See, for example, right here, if I have more green, I can put them by color. These are very easy to grab because it, it has enough space for putting your finger and grab them. And now I'm going to show you um, with the rectangular ones, the archival, okay? And it fits six of them as well. And this is good space because it has room for you to grab the ink pads, see? And you can use the sponges at the bottom as well. You just put it in there like this and you just keep them and they look very very nice now i have up here another one and i put the um distress inks but you can put the oxide or distress inks that are the square ones and for example right here i have one from prima see and there are other brands that has this shape that are square and it fits nine of them See, and it has room so you can push and grab the ink pads as well. See, you just can push and grab them very easily. And also you can get the sponges and put it at the bottom and you are ready for stamping or distressing. That's my first solution. If you want to display and organize your mini ink pads now i'm going to show you the next solution now the next solution is this container from dollar tree see this one that has this shape right here this container you can find it by the office supplies or school supplies sometimes see it's going to be um, there and the brand is j-o-t jot and as you can see in this container, you can save up to 10 mini ink pads. And also, again, you can keep the sponges at the bottom, see? And you can put this one, this tool right here in each container. So it's very convenient. It has more space and it's stackable. You can put another one and another one and keep them or keep them in a drawer by color, by brand. I'm going to show you with another brand. And as you can see, if it's 10 ink pads that are like the rectangular shape and also one of these to distress. And it's very easy to grab them because it has a space right here. See, and this part up here, because it's round, you just push to the top and grab them. Just tilt it and grab them. See, very, very easy. 
and this one has a lot of space too and in this container if you want to put them doubles like this one on top of each other you can save up to 18 ink pads of this kind see and as you can see uh, with the square ones that the stress inks or the oxides or even from other brands you can fit only 10 and keep one of these right here you cannot put this um distress inks right here unless it goes this way but you cannot see the colors i like this one better and the sponges at the bottom see the next container is this one right here and the brand of this is tool bench like this tool bench and you can find it in the hardware section and this one is stackable as well as you can see you can fit up to 12 ink pads and the space is bigger so if you suffer of arthritis or you have trouble grabbing things see this one is much better for you to grab and get your ink pads and it will be the same you can keep 12 of these archival it's very easy to grab them see and because these are not too thick you can put more if you want to save space and it can fit up to 22 of these so if you have 22 or less you can put in one container and now with these square ones you can fit up to 14 and it's going to be loose so you can grab them easily but you can stack them as well and you can put the name on the side and you can just stack them like this see and when you grab them you can get the one that you need and it will fit 26 ink pads and this is a perfect solution for these ink pads as well now this is another container that you can find at dollar tree and it's going to be with the school supplies and right here you can save a lot of ink pads for example this kind of ink pads you can fit 25 on one row see and it's easy to grab them because it has room right here so you just need to push see for example you want to grab this one if you try you can right but you will just push and then grab it see make a space by pushing the other ones and it's very easy to have them and if you want you can put another row so you can save up to 50. for example right here it will fit um, 25 at the bottom and 25 on top and the same thing you can just push the other ones and grab the ink pad that you need and that would be great if you want to save space and if you want to keep only the 25 sponges right here you can buy this container that is in the hardware section and this one looks like this see it has right here these spaces the ink pads they don't fit but the sponges if you want to take the sponges that the ones that are thick and round with you or this kind of sponges you can keep them in there and it looks more organized see you can keep up to 12 sponges in here and you have to just uh cut this this part up here i'm going to put it to the bottom and then you can get two of these and put it on top and if it's two see you have the sponges in here and all your ink pads here and it will fit with the big ones as well see with this one and as you can see you can fit up to 24 of this memento and it's very easy to grab them and you can put one on top of each other see and it will close very nice if you want to save more space but if you want you can also get one container with the sponges and put it on top and if it's two of them 
okay two containers like this and this is a great size of container because if it's more and you can organize in different ways because you can use one of these for the sponges and also you can leave a space right here for these two or you can put right here brushes or many things you can make a lot of stuff and keep all your stuff together see and also if you want to use the square ones it will fit more and as you can see right here if you save the square ones you can fit up to 35 on one row or 70 if you put a double row and it closes right here so you can have more space for your ink pads and it has extra room up here so it's very easy to just push on the side and grab the ink pads that you need see and again if you want to save the sponges on top you can save them and if it's very nice see and if you have a set of doubles you can put them in here and save up to 40 ink pads on the side and this one has 40 doubles see so this was the easy solution for organizing using the containers from dollar tree and you save money and you save space but now i'm going to show you something that you can use for decoration but it takes time to make it okay don't think that it's going to be super easy like buying these plastic containers so i'm going to show you a sneak peek of my diy and you can tell me if you want a tutorial of that i made this little tower right here and as you can see i need three more drawers and i'm going to show you the item that i'm using from dollar tree and please let me know in the comments if you can find this item at your near dollar tree so i can make that tutorial but let me show you first how it's going to look okay it will have five drawers and this big one and it looks like this i just cover with paper i want to display a very nice color and this is how it looks right here and for the handle i want to use one of these but i need to paint it and it looks like this see a wood piece and i will paint them in white and i will glue it right here but if you want you can use anything else to pull like a knob or something like a handle a metal handle and you can decorate with the color of paper that you want as you can see it holds 16 ink pads and they are very easy to grab them look see and you can separate them by color in each square and this one for example right here holds the square ones and the rectangle ones see and you have enough space to hold them just put your finger in this in the center and grab the ink pad that you want and right here you have a lot of room so again you just have to push and grab the ink pad that you need and in total if you make five drawers you can save 80 ink pads and i'm going to separate my ink pads um, by brand in each drawer and right here i made a big drawer you can save up to 20 large ink pads or you can put just 15 and in a container uh, this is from target in a square container you can save the sponges and this tool and if you want you can just keep 10 of those and you can put up here on the side brushes and this tool and put this one on a baggie and then put it on top see so you can organize in different ways and i started recording that tutorial but i need three more of these trays and i look in many many stores and they don't have it so i'm afraid to make a tutorial and you can find this item and this tray is made out of wood can you see right here and i just painted in white and i uh, glue right here a piece of um, paper and it measures seven by seven 
And you can do it with chipboard or cardboard too, but with wood looks much better and it's easier because you just need to paint it and then put the decoration. See, this one will take a little long. And as I said, you have to be patient to make one of these. And once you have all the wood trays, it's easier. You just need to put them in there and you have a drawer. And I hope Dollar Tree brings back these trays soon. And as soon as I have them, I'm going to put a tutorial of this. And if you see them at the store, you can buy five for this one. And if you have a lot of mini ink pads, you can just make two more drawers right here instead of this big one. Please let me know in the comments if you can find this item in your near store. So that was the sneak peek of my future project. I hope you liked this video and if you didn't subscribe to my channel, please do it so you can receive notifications of my future videos. And thank you very much for your nice comments and all your likes and for sharing my videos. Have a blessed day everyone. Bye bye.